Apple Valley High School. I'm Karen Kildow. And I'm Molly Butler. Thanks for joining us for this month's edition of Eagle Eye on the Fly. As Apple Valley is brightening up, people are heading outdoors to soak up the sun, a sure sign that summer is on its way. We're here to shed some light on what's going around this month in AVHS. One activity that really deserves the spotlight is AVHS's Rocket Club. Michaela Reed has the story. Three, two, one. The Apple Valley Rocket Team is making a lot of ruckus this year. However, not too many people know a lot about our award-winning program. The team, led by Mr. Michaels, has gone to nationals three times in the past four years, and this year is no exception. Well, like I said, we're just going to go to nationals. Uh, we just found out about a week ago. The, the top 100 schools in the whole country get to go, and so we're very fortunate to be in the top 100. Captain Owen Gassetelin talks about the team's results. Goal is 800 feet, 45 seconds. We're getting like 801 in 43 seconds or something like that. That's fun. Those kinds of results do not come easy, according to Mr. Michaels. And we kind of have, no pun intended, we have our ups and downs. Lots of hard work behind the scenes contributes to the team's excellent performances. The team has high hopes for nationals and the team's continual growth and success. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Michaela Reed. Thanks, Michaela. Sounds like a blast. Good luck at Nationals to Mr. Michaels and all of his Rocket Club members. But before we head outside to enjoy the sunlight, here are some helpful tips to keep in mind. Jordan Kramer has a story on protecting our skin from the sun. With the end of the school year just around the corner, students anxiously wait the warmth of the summer sun. But with it comes more danger than most people realize. The sun produces UV rays that are not only harmful but are addictive as well. What seems like a nice bronze tan is actually dead cells and extra pigment filling there of your skin. Some helpful hints to keep your skin safe is to generously apply sunscreen. Using a lotion with at least 15 SPF blocks off UVA and UVB rays. Use caution when near water and snow because these elements increase and strengthen the damaging rays. Avoid indoor tanning as much as possible and try to obtain vitamin D safely through supplements. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Jordan Kramer. Thanks, Jordan. I know I won't forget my sunblock. As the weather heats up, winter clothes are being put away. Lighter and more revealing outfits are coming out. This will all change next year. Here's Katie Wilkes with the story. No hoods, chains, backpacks, or headbands? The dress code is a hot topic here at AVHS, with many opinions and discussions occurring among students and staff. We asked around for a variety of thoughts. I think it's stupid. I don't think the dress code is tough enough. It don't show who we really are. Um, I think we should start small. In order to avoid rumors, we went to the source and talked to the principal, the Mr. Deganar. This issue, and it, the feedback I got from uh, from the kids did cause us to change some of the original proposals that we had. Uh, I think I can sum it up very quickly. That what we're asking is that next year we probably won't wear jackets in school. We probably will keep things off our head, and we're going to ask girls to cover up. According to Deganar, 97% of the staff approves of the dress code. Because of this, we may be experiencing many changes in the future. Deganar will be addressing the student body in the coming weeks. For Eagle Eye on the Fly, I'm Katie Wilkes. Thanks, Katie. That sure makes me glad I'm a senior. Well, we may be shedding a lot of light on the dress code, but something that may have been in the shadows is Earth Day, which happened last Sunday. Something simple we can do around AVHS is recycle. Here's a message we put together on behalf of Mr. Brewer and the Student Council. Wow, I'm feeling really rested from that late start yesterday. But with all this testing going on around AVHS, students are seeming a little peed. We asked around to see what other things flipped your switch. My biggest pet peeve is um, in sports when the ref calls a horrible call that everyone sees and you know it's wrong. When people like sharpen the pencil in the middle of class. When people sneeze into their hands and then you watch them touch something and you can just 
see all the stuff on their hands go onto that. Feet. Smack gun by your ears, like if you're sitting on the bus and somebody's just constantly just. When people stop in the middle of the hallway. My biggest pet peeve is when people. When inter people interrupt you? Yeah, me too. Well, thanks for joining us for this edition of Eagle Eye on the Fly. Stay classy, Apple Valley.